Welcome to Sharkcast, the Brandon Sanderson podcast. We're a bunch of mega fans giving you the news discussion and, of course, a whole lot of opinions about Brandon's works in the Cosmere. I'm Eric, and joining me is not Ian, but <gasps> Evgeny. Hi, I am from not America, but I'm in America right now. And you can find me on many websites, some of questionable quality Tinder. as Argent. <laughs> what did you Search do with him up Ian? On Tinder. Where is Ian? What did you Where do with him? Ian? Where is uh, he's, he's at work. <laughs> in my no, I'm in my basement. You're oh, you're fun. your own slave? You're you're locked in the basement? Well, aren't we all our own slaves? Whoa. Technically. Whoa. Also joining me is Ben. <laughs> How's it going, guys? I'm Overlord Chibus on various places. I don't know why his audio sounds completely different from every other time we've recorded with him, but it just does. Uh, you you moved I, out of the jungle. Yes. And now you're I'm, downstairs, and you have Rosh Hashanah behind you. I'm in my basement with my Rosh Hashanah behind me. Yay! Jungle audio was fun audio. Yeah, I don't, video, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, the one where I was radiant. I'm looking forward to finding out what I sound like, because to me, I just sound like I just sound like me. So. I I know Grace was very excited to sound to hear what Robot Grace sounded like, so yeah. <laughs> which I just kept in. And some people I mean, like it's it's like it's like a split personality, right? You don't know what your other yeah. personality is doing, and so you you can find yeah, out. I could be anyone saying. right now. Yeah, I yeah. don't I don't really know how I sound over Discord, but it doesn't matter because I'm recording my audio myself because I'm the one recording. Easy hacks. <laughs> Today, guys. We are going to talk about shard plate. Long awaited because we thought that we needed to do more prep, but uh, then we just didn't. But now we're here. <laughs> yep. Yep. And we've got a nice two page document of, of two various page. things. Two pages. It's so much more than, you know, those 30 page documents we have on broadcasts. Well, yeah, that's yeah, true, yeah. but that's the whole tour. That's the whole tour. Yeah. Well, yeah, but for reference, like we usually on, on like, so the Skyward tour ended up being like 40 plus pages and yeah. that was like what, four episodes? Five episodes. Five episodes, yeah. So <laughs> like eight pages per per episode no, and now pages. we have only About two. Ten. Yeah. Okay, give it give it ten. But now we, we have only a fifth of that, which means this episode's going to be 25 minutes tops, guaranteed. No, yeah. absolutely. We Definitely. didn't even paste the words of Brandon into our document. We're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> We're screwed. We're using Arcanum's collection feature rather than just pasting them into our usual Google Doc. The oh, new here's... collection feature. Well, I mean, it's not new anymore. It's not but... really new. Okay. Uh, I, I, maybe I... it's new for you. Yeah. We know about shard blades. We know a lot about shard blades. Afterwards of Radiance, Brandon's like, oh, let me tell you about shard blades. But he's still yeah. very coy on shard plate. And that is what we're going to talk about. So, yeah. there's two kinds of plate. There's plate that Radiance had, which glows and is awesome. And then the, uh, there's uh, the plate that we currently have, which is dead. Yes. Well, I shouldn't say dead. Mm. I shouldn't say dead. You're right. We don't know whether it... We don't. It, it, yeah, we don't. Yeah. yeah. It, it is not glowing. How about that? It's yeah. not glowing. <laughs> it's, it's not living and dead. It's glowing and not glowing. It right. is. It, yeah. it does not glow your radiant color. Yes. Unless sometimes maybe it does, we don't know. Yeah, so one of the weird things with shard plate, with the dead, air quotes, shard plate, is how you can regrow it by just giving it investiture. Yep. Yeah. Namely Stormlight. Or, or yeah, yeah, or maybe, maybe it's specifically Stormlight. Yeah, 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 right. Hmm, true. Which is and so weird to me. It's odd, because there's, other than, I mean, we have, like, healing for Radiance, where they, yes. they breathe in Stormlight and it restores them. But yes. other than that, we don't, nothing else acts like this around Stormlight. I guess the Spread and Shade Smile, they, like, breathe it in and get all, like, happy and glowy. But well, nothing they, quite. They get revitalized. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they get revitalized. Yeah. Um, Larkin. No, they do feed on investiture. Presum presumably, don't just breathe the stormlight in because they like vaping. Presumably, it's yeah. a, a function. But the the pieces, if you break shard plate off, it kind of becomes molten and breaks off into pieces. And mm -hmm. as long as you're you have enough of it and you're feeding it investiture, if someone takes another piece and tries to feed it investiture, 
if you have the the more pieces, then it will regrow yeah. armor for you. And yeah, because we because Dalinar comments on that when he returns from the assassination attempt at the rift. Yes, mm -hmm. like he's he's <laughs> walking back, he's yep. dropping pieces, and then at the end he's only got his um his neck piece, I yep. think. Yeah, and thinks that's fine. We don't need all the rest. Yeah, there was also another moment I think in the Way of Kings. Um, yeah, this was. We knew this from Way of Kings. Definitely. Yeah, we knew that. Well, well, we, we knew that. We yeah. knew that. Um, but he was also talking about well, they can they can have some of the pieces. We have way more gems, way more stormlight. Uh, yeah. their pieces will shrivel and die, and ours will grow into a full plate again. Hmm. So this does really suggest, with like growing and stuff, that it, in some respects it is kind of alive. Yeah. Right? And all the pieces yep. are like spiritually connected, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Like, I would say without a doubt. There appears to be some identity going on. Yeah. If you like put on the chest piece of one piece of shard plate and then like the arm of another, it probably wouldn't like that too much. I don't know what effect that would have, but it probably wouldn't That's be. That's actually an interesting point. Yeah. Too happy with it. Well, actually, yeah, because like it kind of fits to you, doesn't it? So. I bet it does that anyway. So we've seen when... With, when when Kaladin makes the worst decision yeah. of his life, and <laughs> yes. and waxes poetically about Honoris death, <laughs> uh, he grabs a helm. In there, and the helm keys to him. Like he he sticks his arm in and it the becomes helm, becomes like a bracer thing. Yeah, and, and yeah, yeah. Um, it has a little bit of light left. And then I think he takes a hit or maybe hits somebody. The helm runs out of light and then it just locks. Oh, um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It locks. Yeah. And it can't, like, do that anymore. And, and so it's, it's almost like it, it thinks that his arm is the neck. Yeah. And so it changes shape to, to fit snugly. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... I'm kind of thinking... Storm, uh, storm plate. What shard plate? <laughs> I mean, sure, why not? I mean, it, it, let's be real. It is weird that these are called shards. Shard plate, shard blades, and they were just referred to as shards. Yeah, first of all, yeah. it, I find that the more we learn about shards, the more weird that is to me. Yeah. But that's not what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say was shard plate. When when people have even just this dead shard plate, it gives them strength and. What that reminded me of is kind of the way how when you breathe in stormlight, it kind of perfects, right? In, and in, in some respects, yes. And kind of, oh, oh, not not quite, but yeah, you know, it, it's giving you more strength than you would normally have. You, it doesn't give more strength though. That's the weird thing. What stormlight or the shard play? Stormlight. Yeah, yeah, because. Yeah, Stormlight yeah, yeah, just kind of right. makes you more resilient, kind of thing. So yeah, you I can guess you're right. Punch people harder without your hand breaking, kind of thing. Yeah, um, I would say that the the amount of strength you gain from wearing shot plate is way way yeah, more. Yeah, absolutely, because you can leap across chasms that you could. Yeah. Not well, leap yeah. Not, not only is it more, but also like the strength you get from stormlight. Like for example, your your bench press is not gonna increase dramatically because you have stormlight in you. Yeah. I guess that's you true. You are probably going to be able to push your body a little harder because the stormlight is repairing you, and so that yeah, is going to yeah. feel like an extra strength. Right, but you right. are not actually growing more. Like um, we were talking with a bunch of people back when, um, at the end of Oldbringer, when the Rock, yeah, I was about to mention this shard bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and some people were going, "How is he able to do that? You can't do that without uh, plate. without plate." And even if he had access to stormlight. That doesn't, it doesn't increase your strength yeah. to the point where it's comparable to plate. So yeah. what is going on with the rock? And the answer, yeah. well, is just the rock. Like, have you yeah. guys seen the guy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if Rock was cast as Dwayne the Rock Johnson? I I would love yeah. that so much. Like, that would be really be. funny. I mean, like that would I, that would make the movie for me. Like that, that's all I need. That, that's it. That's all I need. And and the fact <laughs> that he is technically Hawaiian royalty. Is <laughs> that's, that's yeah, yeah. 
I'm, with, I'm with you there, don't worry. That's the best part about well, it being one can action. Hope. Yeah. I, I guess what I was going for and not explaining well in any way because I didn't prepare my thoughts at all for this show uh, is, you know, the, the plates. It makes sense to me that the plate would lock to Kaladin's arm and kind of shape it in this perfect way. That just makes sense to me. That okay. it would do that, that it's designed to protect. Yeah. Uh, and so any bit of it will like reshape if it has uh, the stormlight to do that. Because it, it um, interlocks perfectly, uh, except yeah. for the visor slit, right? There appears to be some very basic, not intelligence, but like a, like a magical intent. Yeah, it kind of how seeks, it works. It, it kind almost, of, yeah. almost like a command, like an Awakener's command. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, for sure. See, I would say there is some, at least a little bit of intelligence, because of the thing that Adolin with the lightning. Adolin with the lightning, yeah. So when, at the end of Words of Radiance, um, Adolin gets hit by um, a bit of the storm lightning that the Barshendi is shooting out. Yes. And from that, then after he gets hit and he gets up from that point onwards, the shard plate automatically blocks the light from the lightning, so stop it from blinding him, and like I think it dampens the sound as well. I can't remember. Um, uh, there was nothing about the sound, but he definitely... Okay. Like it covers the exactly light. the shape of the lightning. Yeah, I and thought, so it's actively. I, I thought it was just a, in the translucentness that he was seeing out. It just the spot was just darkened. Oh yeah, yeah, it darkens that spot. So in like a, like when someone shoots lightning to the side of the right of him, it would just block out the bit where the lightning is. I thought yeah, that so that was it's not. No, it's it's not that the first hit darkens the visor. It's that after that happens, he, he yeah. like, the visor is still perfectly fine, but then whenever there is lightning... It's actively of, protecting. Oh, okay. Yep. yep. Yeah. Instead of getting blinded, the visor changes, and it's not like half the visor goes dark. It's exactly the shape of the lightning as it moves. Oh, interesting. That, that does also sort of indicate that, ah, yes, this is plate specifically designed to fight against yep. oh, such yeah. things, uh, right? And, and uh, he, he thinks exactly that in the scene. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because everyone, you know, in Way of Kings describes it as these are these legendary things. And then yeah. the Void Bringers come back. It's like, oh, yeah, they're actually really, it's really good for that. Actually. It's, like, it's like, oh, yeah, the play prepped with that, the giant blades are for the giant monsters that they're summoning. Yeah, yeah, it, it, works, like, hey, it works out great. <laughs> Method to the madness. It's yeah. really interesting how you can, there, the helmet is like translucent. Uh, like semi-translucent, mm. it's not perfectly translucent, but you can see and through it, it. It changes translucency. Yeah. Yes, yes. One thing I I kind of wanted to bring up, and I couldn't, and instead started talking about Kaladin and the dumb arena scene. <laughs> the amazing um, arena scene. Yeah, I mean the the scene the scene itself was amazing, and then he's like, "Hi, <laughs> I'm am, I'm am Kaladin, I'm gonna... dumb blessed." <laughs> I was I was trying to think. Uh, about different scenes where we may have seen somebody else, somebody use. Oh, I know. No, 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 no. Um, after the tower, mm -hmm. yeah. When the Kulin army is coming back, Dalinar's and Adolin's plates are both kind of kind of banged up. Yeah, hmm. and so they know that Dalinar is going to go talk to Sadius, and he borrows a few pieces from Adolin's armor. So he gets a full suit. Oh. Oh. Oh, so I totally forgot okay. that too. Yeah, completely forgot so that. There's well. no there's no mention of anything fitting weirdly or perfectly for that matter. Uh, but it is a scene where that happens. It's just there's nothing like there's no attention the narrator pays to mm. to that mm. particular event. I feel yeah, like that bro. must be like a thing that if the plate well if the plate giver, if, if you have plate and you're giving those pieces to something else, then that's fine for that to happen temporarily. Uh, like as if you're you're intentionally giving it rather than someone's just like, I'm yeah, picking yeah, yeah. up a piece, right? I don't know. I think Kaladin just picks up a piece when he puts it on his fist. Well, he does, but like he's yeah. also not wearing other plate. Another piece. Right? Yeah. Like well, you we're saying that the pieces from Adolin's plate would presumably interlock and look 
perfect for Dalinar as he's walking over to Sadius, right? Okay, you're thinking that the 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 mishmash of Dalinar and Adolin play would perfectly mash, mesh together, despite the I fact mean, that the there two... was nothing mentioned about that. So it yeah, looked well, so, so I I think it is only a gauntlet. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. Not a, quite a mishmash. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so okay, so the way, the way we, what I'm getting from this is that there is some sort of identity to the shard plate holding it together. But it's really not that strong. Like, it's... it's. Oh, I'm trying to think of how to put this into words. It is itself one unit, but each individual unit kind of can act upon itself and do its own thing and protect, you know, a hand, an arm, uh, work together with other bits. It's got a bit of, it's, it's a bit, it's got a bit of intelligence behind it. It kind of knows what it's doing. It's not just a dumb... I am this identity, so I'm going to block this identity. It's just kind of like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to fit to an arm. Oh, there's already a bit of shard plate here. Oh, I'll just fit to that shard plate. You know, I'm, I'm not going to worry too much about things messing up. Presumably, if he grabbed that gauntlet from Adolin, and if Dalinar kept it for a while, eventually that gauntlet would die off, as the as Adolin's main plate is regenerated with Stormlight. Yeah. Presumably once that gauntlet is regrown. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. It's so, like it's so yeah, in that in that sense the the connection has to still be there. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. It's all it's kinda interesting because that almost makes me seem makes me feel like putting the stormlight into the plate, the plate will know if it needs to regrow this extra limb or not. And like, well, I lost my gauntlet, but I'm going to regrow it. And uh, it it's trying to shape itself to this spiritual ideal of this plate and this suit of armor. Yeah, there's 100% some some spiritual picture of how the plate yeah. is supposed to look. Yeah, And so <laughs> it's less regrowing. And I mean, it is regrowing in the sense of a radiance using regrowth. Yeah. So it's it's more like healing yeah. the plate back to yeah. its healthy state. Right. Which is this perfect set of armor. That's yeah. awesome. That's basically just power armor. It's great. Um, it is. I mean, that, it, that's it, the concept Dallas <laughs> and Brandon wanted to write a story where people have knights in power armor where you have giant swords and try to make that power make armor sense. Power and, and anime. Why yeah. would this make sense? Because I need giant swords to cut across these ancient beings. I love how Brandon was playing WoW and he looked to the characters with massive weapons and armor and was like, this isn't realistic enough. This needs to be more, this needs to be explained better. And so he explained it better. It's great. The fact that there is some, sentience isn't the right word, but there, there is some, it's not just a dumb suit of armor, right? Yeah, there, there, I, I do think there is some thought. It kind of knows, it kind of knows what it's doing. It well, knows it's... It knows what it is. That that kind of thinks about uh, influence of Spren. But we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that. Yes. Let's maybe talk a little bit about how the glowing shard plate is a little different. Because the glowing shard plate can be retracted and deployed. Yes. Summoned and dismissed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which uh, is a big difference from the way and, shard plate And you can do that partially. So you don't have to summon or dismiss your entire plate. You can do just the helm, for example. Or yeah. everything else but the helm. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, look, sometimes it's... you just want to let that hair flow, okay? <laughs> As you're talking to someone to be inspiring. Okay. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I think that speaks to that, that's interesting. I like I like I'm looking forward to finding out exactly how that works because I mean you've you've got the the, the blades. The blades yes. before they added the pole stone. Yes. Keystone? Pole stone? Pole stone. It's just um, a gemstone. But presumably one of the stones, yes. It, it is, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, before they added that, you know, they couldn't summon dismiss them. And it's interesting that they never found a way of adding a gem to the plate to do that. Yes. Um, and, yeah. It's interesting. You know what is also interesting that I just realized? Plate seems to have, like, it's it's already designed to have this kind of flap on the front, and you put the gems inside. Yeah, because the, the the gems are in the plate, right? Yeah, it's it's like a breastplate, and then you have it like a metal flap. Is that what it's, it is? it's like a it's like a lid. Is it? Yeah. So I mean, 
that that's the Is image it? I have. So at the end, okay, of, yeah, I was uh, at the end of the Way of Kings prologue, when Zeth goes, like when when Gavilar is dying, Zeth goes to him, uh, goes to him as he's impaled on the ground, and I think like he undoes a strap or two, uh, like taps the plate or something like that, and it opens, and the gems are in there, and he inhales to get a little bit of healing because he's really beat up at that point. I don't, I don't remember, remember that. that at all. That has so rarely come up. I remember that there is gems underneath the plate, but I kind of figured each piece just like, you know how it perfectly fits to your skin? Like, you, you put some gems underneath it, and so you put it on, and it just kind of it molds around the gems underneath. Why don't, like, we, that's kind of how... why don't we do a quick uh, research? Oh, yeah, way ahead of you. Course. Way ahead of Ooh. you. All right, I have it. Oh, we're doing a, a wob view. Yes. Wob view. Ooh. Wob. <laughs> wob. Like, like the inception sound, but like with the inception. Wob. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has to be. Zeth reached underneath the front each, of the each, man's each, you, breastplate. No, no, you're ruining my joke. <laughs> each layer of the inception is just getting a new wob that's sending one level deeper. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Zeth reached underneath the front of the man's breastplate, tapping the straps there. They unfastened, and he pulled the front of the breastplate free, exposing the gemstones on its interior. Two had been cracked and burned out. Three still glowed. Numb, Zeth breathed in sharply, absorbing the light. Interesting. So it's kind of like... So I guess the gems, you would never see that. You don't see them from the outside. Mm. But maybe if you're putting Absolutely. it on, you would, you would see the gems, because it's the inside. Of it, I guess. So the other scene I'm thinking, one, there's obviously Elokar's plate failing. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think in the aftermath of that scene, uh, like Dalinar or Adolin or somebody goes and looks at the plate to see what's up. And the other, the other one I'm thinking is, uh, again, in the Way of Kings, where Dalinar is kind of getting suited up, and he's going through this uh, almost like Iron Man. Yes, shooting yes. Up moment. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, exactly. Power uh, armor is so cool. A hundred percent. That's what that scene looks like. Absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. The with the spinning camera and yeah. and uh, yep. and Led Zeppelin. Of... Just... And yeah, and yeah. living shard plate will be like Tony Stark uh, later, where it's just, it just materializes, uh, like yeah, 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 it just yeah, grows yeah, yeah. like almost instantly. Easy. Yeah, no, Tony, Tony's a radiant. Hundred yeah. percent. Um, he does glow. He does close, and 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 then he's also got a bit of a dad syndrome going on. So, yeah, uh, Anyway, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Avengers Cast, where we talk about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The what will crossover. happen in Avengers Endgame? The most ambitious <laughs> crossover in the world. <laughs> Group uh, shot so where we pan nice through rate. all the heroes, all ten, <laughs> only ten. <laughs> What order of the Knights Radiant would Thor be in, guys? That's a topic for another <laughs> show and not this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I wonder if that scene with Dalinar, because that is a scene where they describe in a great detail how they put the armor together. That would yeah. have been together, great like, if we had reread person. that for this episode. Oh, I just remembered, there's also that one scene where the guy's putting that gauntlet on and he gets like the five gemstones and he puts them on the gauntlet to power it up, and then snaps his fingers to kill half of the universe. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's the Infinity Gauntlet, but it's like, no, that's exactly what you're saying. <laughs> cool. Uh, back to this quote. Why are there straps? Yeah, because it fits perfectly, so you should I thought need... it fit perfectly. Yeah, you kind of just put it what on straps? and it goes, Whoop. as maybe I... you strap it on, and then it goes, oh. I don't think it fits perfectly. What I think it fits perfectly like be because the pieces interlock. Uh -huh. mm. But I don't think it's like a skin like tight. A, a skin tight. Yeah. Because hmm. that's something that's always bothered me is that it's like it, it says it, fit perf it fits perfectly and it shrinks to fit the wearer. But then it's got gems underneath it. So it's like that kind of doesn't work because well, otherwise you've got like the you, gems you being get, pressed against it, your skin. It has weird. width to it. Yeah. Like it has thickness, yeah. right? Like it's not yeah. it, it's not like it's it just going to go exactly as my arm is. Like it it's going to Yeah. be wider. But but it's, but it's also like it 
the the adjustment is at least just like different different shower bears different height hmm. like if you're putting a gauntlet that that's going to be super finicky to to the length of your fingers and yeah. so in that sense i think plate can shrink or expand but it's not it's still it's still armor okay it's still not a, not a diving it, suit yeah yeah I've always yeah I've always kind of seen it as kind of shrinking to be skin tight, but that kind I just of don't remember doesn't like work quite straps. work with all the other descriptions. Yeah, like in Way of Kings, I think of straps and I think of the strap on the saddle, and it's like I don't think of the <laughs> st like straps in the armor. Okay. Yeah, I've got the scene up actually. Great. Okay, so Dalinar sends for Adolin because they're about to go on a plateau assault. Officer scattered. Dalinar's armor bearers entered a moment later. Uh, the armor bearers inspected his boots, checking to be certain the laces were tight. So there are laces there. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's his like actual boots. Never mind. Yeah, that'll be the boots he wears <laughs> underneath the plate. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not yeah. naked under the plate. They're not uh, naked they under the plate. then brought a long padded vest to throw over his uniform. Okay. Um, okay. So right, that's okay. just, I guess, to reduce like chafing. Chafing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Chafing. Legendary object. Legendary chase. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> that is, no, it, it, it's true. Uh, next, uh, they set the sabatons, armor for his boots, on the floor before him. They encased his boots entirely, and had a rough surface at the bottoms that seemed to cling to rock. Uh, the interior glowed with the light of the sapphires in their indented pockets. Presumably for the gemstones. Oh, okay, indented. So they, well, they, there's, there's, yeah, there's, yeah, right. there's an indent on the inside of the, the armor where you put the gem. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, Dalinar was reminded of his most recent vision, the Radiant, his armor glowing with glyphs. Modern shard play didn't glow like that. Could his mind have fabricated uh, whatever? Yeah, no, no. Uh, no Dalinar, time to consider no. that now. It was time to be the Blackthorn. He stepped into the sabatons, and the straps tightened on their own accord, fitting around his boots. So presumably, ah. like the way, so boot or sabaton rather, but it's relaxed, and you you step in, and it just clasps like, like the Iron Man suit, exactly like, like, <laughs> like this is literally, literally the just image like, I have yeah, in yeah. my head. Yes. Oh, I'm thinking just... Back to the Future Two, the Nike. You know, no. I haven't the, seen the... <laughs> Back to the Future Two in so <laughs> long. Leave. He put shoes on and they go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the greaves came next, going over his legs oh, and okay. knees, locking onto the sabatons. Shard plate wasn't like ordinary armor. There was no mesh of steel, mayo, and no leather straps at the joints. Okay. Shard plate seam. Uh, shard plate seams were made of smaller plates interlocking overlapping, incredibly intricate, leaving no vulnerable gaps. Okay. Uh, there was very little rubbing or chafing. Each piece fit together perfectly as if it had been crafted specifically for Delinar. Right. But it's still armor, yeah. so... Yeah, and it will still expand um, stuff. One always put the armor on from the feet upward. Shard plate was extremely heavy, which is interesting considering that blades are not. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, that is good true. Point. That is a good point. Without the enhanced strength it provided, no man would be able to fight in it. Dalinar stood uh, still as the armor bearers affixes the the quizzes <laughs> over his we, ties. Uh, that is a, a curious no, piece of armor for a tie. Quiz. Okay. C U I S S E. This is going to be on screen for the, the video. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. No, it's, guys, it's down there. It's down there. Yeah. Right now. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah. Um, over his thighs and locked them to the cullet <laughs> and <laughs> folds. <laughs> These are all pieces of armor. They're, they're... That we definitely, yeah. we, we, we are, we are exactly. medieval armor experts on this show. Look, yeah. if you, we definitely <laughs> you guys, know how to pronounce all of these. And if you know more about that, cool. Dear, dear I mean, listener, that's, that's if you are fine. a blacksmith or an armorer, <laughs> tell us what these things are because we don't Firstly, know. 
that's really cool. And secondly, tell us what these things are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, let, let's be real. Brandon's like, I got to Google about all these armor pieces oh, for yeah. this armoring yeah. scene. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm a little surprised because just having played a lot of like fantasy medieval games, yes. you pick yeah. up a lot of these words. words but I haven't like, seen some. Of I haven't these, seen yeah. quiz. I haven't seen well, kill it. No, I haven't seen kill it, and I haven't seen folds. Hmm. Uh, but they are apparently on the waist region. Okay. Yeah. Um, across his waist and lower back. A skirt made of small interlocking plates came next, reaching down to just above the knees. Yeah. That's in the... That's in the... I, I couldn't remember that they had a skirt. Yeah, Shard they, um, skirt. It's, it's, uh, that, that specifically has a name that I don't know. But that also has a name. Great. And it's it's to, it's if you get hit with a sword around the hips, it like gets bounced off. It's normally in a male, but obviously the the, the shark plate's too good for male. Instead it's, of not uh, who's yeah. that Cosmere character, it's what's that shark <laughs> plate what's that armor piece? Sec- <laughs> name? This piece goes over the ties. Yeah. <laughs> uh anyway, so he then chats with Teleb a little bit, and Dalinar said as the armor bearers locked his breastplate into place then worked on the rare braces and van bracers for his arms yes already he could feel the strength of plate surging through him uh so important that you don't need to have a full set to to gain the yeah. benefits uh which, yeah. which makes sense because that's why you put plate yeah bottom that's, up. that's what we just said yeah yeah and i think that is almost all of it. Dalinar waved with his left hand as the armor bearers locked the gauntlet onto his right. He made a fist, tiny plates curving perfectly. The left gauntlet followed. Then the gorget, that's the neck piece, yep. went over his head, covering his neck and pauldrons on the shoulders and the helm on his head. Finally, the armor bearers affixed his cape to the pauldrons. Yes. So that scene was not very illuminating but on on how but but if we imagine so yeah. because it's a breastplate breastplates are normally and and they are armorer in the comments uh you can <laughs> you can tell me how i'm wrong exactly yes but it's essentially a sheet in the front sheet in the back obviously hole for the head you've yeah. got this is connecting yeah it's almost like an apron right and then yeah. uh and right. then straps on the side. Yeah. And so what Zeth probably did was oh, okay. so so not not a lid, but like he got he to the, the straps, oh! opened them, and then lifted right or like got a it. Bit lifted. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Sorry, when it's just you hear the word strap, I think leather strap, not like not like that, right? Yeah. You see? But it, it could have been leather. It, it probably is not, probably. because it's part yeah. of the plate. It's shard leather. It's shard leather. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> After the, the shard skirt. Leather. <laughs> the ultimate fashion choice. Perfect okay. for fighting. Yes. Now, why are we talking about this? Because we got distracted by talking about Zeth's ge- uh, yes. opening the plate. Oh, and the, the gems. Knife. The gems. Yes. The gems. Let's talk about the gems. Well, well the, the the description mentioned it has indents on the inside. No, 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 no. no. With, yeah, but, yeah. But it's interesting that blades with gems can be dismissed and summoned. Yes. But, but plate but can't. The, the gem doesn't serve the same purpose there. True. That's right. Like, yeah, the but, gem no, that's, is yeah. somehow there for like connection or identity or some other spiritual shenanigans. Spiritual mumbo jumbo. Yeah. yeah, in plate, it seems to be there by design as like a healing or regrowing, like like fuel. Yeah, yeah, the ba- batteries, in some sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly like batteries. It holds stormlight. What I was so, thinking. Oh, just, oh, yeah, okay. the reason we're talking about that is because I was saying, oh, it seems like that was that was there in the beginning. Right. Oh yeah, I actually was about to say I don't think it might not have been always. So essentially the point you're making there is when living radiance, or when the old radiance had their plate, which was glowing, it had gemstones in it. Is that what you, you're saying, you think? That that appears to be the case, yes. Because I think it might necessarily not be the case, because the blades, when they added the pole stone, 
the blades change shape to fit the pole stone. So it could be that yeah, someone right. did try and does... put the pole stone in the plate, but instead of uh, making it so you can dismiss it and bond it and thing, it made it so you could regrow it, you know, or power it. Yeah. I, I think that's... And so it kind of it, it moved or made a indent. I was thinking that, like, would the radiant plate have gems? Like, can you just summon the gems with the plate? Like, I, I don't, that's why I don't think it would. Maybe. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, Maybe I mean, you can summon a blade, it. and it has the gem on it, right? Like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But would a radiant need to have gems as the fuel when the radiant can just breathe in stormlight? That's what I'm thinking. I think that the radiant itself was the fuel for this, the, or, the plate. Alternatively, let's let's yeah. an alternative or perspective the stormlight is, and the radiant. Sorry. what if the gems in the plate is a more convenient way than I'm just carrying around spheres, so I just have, uh, you know, gems in my armor, so I don't need to just carry extra crap around, and it's just oh, okay. naturally designed so that the Radiance can use that as well, perhaps. So I think there's kind of two different directions that you could go with that. That's possible, but, but like, putting gems in the armor feels weird. Like... It, it feels way easier to just grab a pouch and, and yeah. tie that on your belt than to yeah. like lay your plate on the ground and well, drop that's, that's true with, with the summoning and I I suppose I was more thinking about it from the perspective of if you're fighting void bringers you don't want them to just immediately slash your pouch of gems away right like yeah it, it's that is true. for extended combat you probably want a more secure way of, of do it using your powers right there there may be a funky way where their plate kind of adapts and maybe expands yeah. or curves to essentially form pockets yeah like, like if, if you pocket. wouldn't need to just like take off all the plate because you could probably well, just like it'll just like sink in in a weird way or something and it's kind of what i'm thinking yeah yeah didn't the quote you just read um, Evgeny, didn't that just mention pockets? Well, yeah, it did. It did. It did. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It. It. Well, yeah. It did have pockets for the gems, but again, there there could be a difference between that's the way plate was designed. So that that mm. could, if there are pockets for gems, that could suggest that uh, the radiant ones did have gems. However, it's also logically possible that, you know, maybe over time after people over centuries and millennia have been putting in gems, it's just adapted yeah. to that, perhaps. Yeah. So uh, it's not conclusive. Per se. The exact sentence is, the interior. so this is Sabaton's, the interiors glowed with the light of the sapphires in their indented pockets. Okay. okay. So yeah, it's the indents. Cool. Okay. Um, as as we were talking about this, I realized something. We uh, we we seem to uh, like a lot of us make the assumption that blade and plate are made of the same material, mm -hmm. which doesn't make any sense. No. Yeah. <sighs> I, One. The, yeah. They're I think it's time. We're, I think it's a time we adjust the elephant in the room. The big difference between shard blades and shard plate. That. We should we should probably talk about that before getting into let's talk deep into gemstones. We, we yeah. should probably because the the how shard plate comes into being probably is going to influence this. But did you have yeah. something else you wanted to mention with that, Evgeny? Before uh, we do well, that? I was gonna I was gonna mention how uh, blades clashing just don't they don't break. Yeah, <laughs> whereas plate does. Right. Yeah, and that, that's that's totally much. true. It's yeah. it's that plate blocks blades, but not forever. Hmm. Yep. Whereas blade, well, yeah, blades don't break. They just don't. Hmm. There is no indication that they break ever. They bend, but they don't break. Yes. So, how sharp plate? How do you get sharp plate? We'll we'll talk about other minutia here. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Let's, we're, let's, we're on sharkcast. You're gonna get the minutia. That's fine. <laughs> Forty five minutes into this show, well, and we're finally getting it. We're finally starting it. The first point we probably should have started at is 
where the sharp plate comes well, from. Well, we had to talk about what it. it is, right? We <laughs> yeah, had to talk yeah. about what it is. But I, I think it's a very good point, Evgeny, that they are they are not made of the same material, right? Mm. Or they could be similar types of things, but it's not the exact same thing. So, for example, they could be different god metals. Yeah. Well, I mean, different exactly. kinds of solid investiture. Like, god metal is a weird definition on Roshar. Hmm. Like, blades are sure. god metals, but I think there is a front runner of the theory uh, that shard plate is formed with lesser spren. Yes. Or cousin spren is another. Yeah, yeah, cousin spren. Yeah. yeah. And part one of Oathbringer at the very end, Kaladin was doing stuff with those Windspren, right? Hmm. Like that was that was a thing. Oh, he was doing that at the end of Word of Radiance. He had Windspren swirling around. It wasn't him he quite was the same as what he did in the part one of Oathbringer, but yeah, yeah, there, there were Windspren. Yeah, at at the end of Words of Radiance, I think that was just a factor of him flying, flying. right? And so hmm. they were attracted to the flight, and, and um, oh, or... but then yeah, you... <laughs> it is worth going back. And and rereading that because in a very similar way he was attracting Windspren in Shadesmar. And the attraction there was obviously not because of a flight, it was because of the mental processes that he was going through. So it's interesting to compare the two scenes and see if he was <laughs> thinking about similar things. Yeah. Hmm. And you know, really, with the, the Windspren, with what he does at the end of part one of Oathbringer, that really doesn't come up in the later yeah. book, really. <laughs> And, and really. Sue is like, I don't know, dude. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really to is remind like people, that. to remind people, Kaladin stood in front of the storm and just was like, no, no, and just the storm just, <clears throat> and then all the wind spread and flew down his arms and. But there like, does really feel to be some relationship between those wind did. spread and that. I know some people don't like this, but. <clears throat> I, I can't read that scene and not think that Windspread are somehow involved, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think um, the because uh, this thing I know it's not the most popular theory because there is issues with the theory and I, it's, yes, I kind of wish we could have got someone on the podcast who didn't agree with the theory. I know, uh, but I did read up but on we eliminated uh, all of them. Yes, yeah. <laughs> don't say that. Don't uh, say that. <laughs> I read on uh, the the Caldaris, who is a great 17th star user he yes. did a post where he kind of summed up the problems with that theory and it's all related to identity and it's related to you know spren going from one thing and turning into another didn't really like that um all that kind of thing so there is there is problems there's different problems with that it's just lesser spren encasing around you and becoming shard plate there is definitely problems with that theory but it, it, it it's really hard to think of any other theory and they have there to be involved other, somehow. There's only it, one other thing I think it could be. Okay. Which is during the the is it called the Starfall the Starfall vision? Starfalls. Where, yes. Yeah. Uh, where the midnight essences attack the village yes. and uh, yep. the two things. Uh, one when Dalinar is show, showing that scene to other people and he's playing the role yes. on the radiance. Um, the other radiant he complains saying, "Oh, my plate's not working," and the other radiant was like, Let's... "Oh, have." Can can we actually read this? Yeah. I want to read it's... this cuz there there's actually some a few things to discuss. Yep. So yeah. I'm not going to voice act Dalnar. That did not go well the last time I did that. I think something might be wrong with my armor, Dalnar shouted to him. I can't make my helm retract. In response, the other radiant made his vanish. Dalnar caught sight of a puff of light or mist. Mist, interesting. Beneath the helm, the man had dark skin and black and curly black hair. His eyes glowed blue. Retract your Retract helm. your helm, he shouted. You haven't summoned your armor yet. You had to dismiss it so I could lash you. Oh, Dalin, I thought. I mean earlier. It wouldn't vanish when I wanted it to. Talk to Hark Elaine then, or to your spren. The wind yeah. would have frowned. Will this will this be a problem for our mission? Uh, um so Hark Elaine. Uh, knew that a desolation was near. Yes, he is also mentioned in the previous, or she is also mentioned yes. in the uh, previous uh, ver uh, vision where yes. they said, oh, 
Harky Lane says the distillation afoot. And he's uh, not. It and, is. It is the same vision. The same. Vision. Yeah, same vision. But it's it's, it's just it's different perspective. Just different times. It's the the way the way of King's version and the Perfect version. Um, and so just the way that that's talked about, it sounds like Harky Lane is the is a bondsman of the time because no. they sound well, like an authority oh, okay. figure in that time. That 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 yeah. is possible. Yeah. That, okay. Um, that's true. Grace so finds Harky Lane be... very suspicious. I find them very suspicious. They're very interesting. It's just because we only have two names. We yeah. have two things we know about. Them. And uh, Harkalane is not either of those radiants. Yes. Clearly. That that um, was a subject of discussion before Oathbringer. It's pretty obvious that he's not, now, or he or she is yeah. not now. It, yeah. The the Mayo radiant uses Mayo pronouns for Harkalane. Oh, do they? Okay. Um. So he, I think it's possible that Harkalane could be the bondsmith of the time. And that is sensible. The bondsmith is they do lots of bonding, but they don't do much smithing from what we've seen. So it could be entirely possible. <laughs> I think it is it's not the most likely, because like I said, in the list of Scrap is the most likely. Um I think it's possible that the bondsmith might create the plate for the radiance in some way. That's I think that's a possibility. Those are not mutually exclusive. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the bondsmith could make it out of lesser sprint, you know. But I think it's entirely possible that the bondsmith is involved in that process. I mean, they they do cut it. They they do bring things together. That 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 yeah. is what bondsmith do. And there is and the wordsmith in there. That... There is yeah. <laughs> Shard plate is also like all of this talk about growing it and regrowing it has made it, has made me think of cultivation a lot true um yeah. and so i do have to wonder if if you need a bondsmith and specifically if you need cultivation's bondsmith to facilitate well no because we we yeah that's silly. It, we an example <laughs> of plate that we probably see is at the end of Oathbringer because there's this reference to Yasna. There's uh, a, these geometric shapes dismissing. Yeah. Yasna's suspected plate, yeah. That's, and, that's, everyone thinks that's her plate, yeah. yeah. And Dalinar clearly had nothing to do with that. <laughs> that is, you know, Maybe you're he did it off that. screen, but I have a hard time believing that. Yeah, right? yeah. No, 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 no. But that's, that, yeah, that's a problem. Could Bondsmiths perhaps fix problems with Shard Plate, perhaps? Or. Maybe I don't know. Maybe if the lesser spread are misbehaving, I don't know. I don't know. I I have well, no we, idea. We know it. we Maybe. as kind of tangentially of how where does it come from? How do you get it? Uh, we know at least that the wind runner uh, plate you have to be fourth oath level yes, to get. We it. do. Um, that is oath much... level. <laughs> you have to level up four times. Um, yes. Oh wait, would that make you? Level? And same yeah, for the light weavers, right? Because. Um, I th that scene where Shalan talks to Yasna and is like, I'm an adult now, I'm a real radiant. And Yasna's like, yeah, where's your plate? Uh, see, I, the, that's a little iffy, I'd say. But like, it's explicitly said, the Windrunner's like, I'm going to have a fourth oath. I'm going to get my wraith, my, yep. my plate. Yeah. And we're not um, getting that in this book, because screw you yeah. guys. Um, <laughs> Got to save some stuff for the next book. It, um, 100%, by the way. Kaladin's getting his plate in the next book, because Brandon cannot talk about around this forever. Maybe Tef one, gets it and Kaladin dies. Windrunner specific <laughs> oath per book. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, we got like three Windrunner Yeah, we got, we got several ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I was, I was parsing through that. <laughs> yeah, your face was like literally processing that after you in, said it. In, in my head, it was like the main fourth oath. ideal. Fourth Lopin ideal. Doesn't count. Book four. Lopin doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. Four, four. S but second ideal happened first, so. In the first book, doesn't match. And so yeah, so where I was going with that yes. is that I think that there is um, there is something in regards to uh, Earth, which is obviously kind of a measure of bond um, you have with your spren. So yes. there's obviously something related to I was going to say bondage, uh, your bonding <laughs> of spren. Well, we did uh, talk no. about straps <laughs> earlier. So. We were, um, and so it would like the bondsmith could maybe help. You know, if if your 
feeling a bit down about your oaths and your bonds feeling a bit weak. The bonds, yeah, like, 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 like kind of like, like you know those those okay. things with Yoda and Anakin in the prequels. Yeah, like, tell me what's on your mind. Yeah, like so, the bonds were kind of. That's what Yoda there. sounds like. I, I don't know. If you... <laughs> so, for all we know, Harkulane could have been like the radiant psychiatrist. Yeah, radiant psychiatrist. The the night psychiatrist. <laughs> the night psychiatrist. Is Ben gonna do bondage? What's going on? What, what's up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my nerd cave. I've got this nerdy stuff everywhere. This is signed by the guy who did puppeting for. Frank Oz, yeah. Of... Nice. nice. Yeah, he has... That's awesome. How much yeah, did that like... cost you? Oh, it was like 30 quid. The guy who oh, lives okay. in like the Caribbean in some random tiny house and just has oh, a nice. Star Wars museum in his house. And look, Why not? <laughs> and and then just sign a bunch of things and make them thirty yeah, thirty dollars a pop. Yeah, I, I would do yeah, that. He's Easy. just got like his living room, just has like loads of like props and everything. I don't think it's Frank Carson. I think it's the guy who made the puppet. Not the... Oh, made the puppet. Yeah. Oh, I think you made it sound yeah. like it was a puppeteer. Something maybe. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Great. Excellent. Yeah, anyway. so it, it, Harkaline doesn't need to be physically forming things. Like, I, I think it, it could just be like a problem solver thing. Yeah, you know, it's a yeah. That's why you get Harkaline if you if your spren's acting weird because your bond's a bit funny because you feel. Well, a bit not down. it doesn't yeah. need to be that your spren's acting weird because oh, it yeah. also says that you're talk or talk to your spren, right? Yeah. So, so the, the Mayo Radiant in this vision, the Windrunner, uh, mm. could be going. Hey, this this journey before a destination, this journey that you're going on, you seem to you might be struggling at the moment sure. with whatever the next truth yep. you need to find is. Go see a professional. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like... <laughs> or talk to your friend and work it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because because Sil does try to help Kaladin you, you on go, his. You go to Harkelane when you need marriage counseling, except it's not marriage counseling. <laughs> it's it's friend counseling. Sprenage. Yeah. Yeah. Bondage counseling. I'm going to no, stop saying bondage. No. <laughs> this is a family friendly um, show, Ben. I know. I need to stop saying it. I mean, so it's bondage. Uh, I don't think it is. <laughs> so were, were there were there a, anyway, a, other theories hey. of how the up, I'm not the I'm not ready to abandon this one summons. Um, okay. Yeah. Something something in this conversation. Uh, the 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 like Ben's talk about the fourth level and how that's uh, that's apparently specific to Windrunners, um, which in many ways makes sense because they're very like orderly. Yeah, I figure it's similar to the blades where different orders um, might get it at different times. They yeah, might all get sure. it at fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, not. it varies. Maybe. Um, well, the fourth ideal does represent a specific intermingling of the spirit webs. It does indicate a specific strength of the Nihal bond. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so I, I kind of want to explore why that is important for or critical. For the formation of shard blade, uh, blade. Well, because on on level three, three. yeah, you get blade. You get you get blade. So you get the ability to essentially pull your spren from the cognitive realm and and give them a a physical body fully, fully from yeah, the fully realm. yeah, yeah. Um, except for the whole voice in the head thing, but that that's weird. Telepathy. Um, Everything's connected in the spiritual realm. Yeah. It is. <laughs> realm, whatever. Um, so, so at, at level three, that is that is the strength of your bond. You can pull yeah. your own, like your main spren, if there is more going on, um, from the cognitive to the to the physical, yep. and it manifests as a blade. A blade. Yeah. And so, if level four is a is a kind of a deeper intermingling of the spirit webs it's a stronger bond then i wonder if that gives you the ability to pull other spren pull other spren uh, that maybe yeah. like maybe they're not just random spren right maybe 
your spren kind of cultivates a bunch of other spren, um, which, which was an oddly popular theory during the Oathbringer release chapters when when Seal's like, I'd be an excellent mother, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And so I do, I do wonder if at level four, um, either through your spren or just by by virtue of like people on Roshar's ability to attract spren naturally. Yeah. You get to the point where you're like, well, I need plate. And so you go and grab a bunch of, let's say, wind spren. Hmm. And yeah. each one on on its own is it, it, it is not as substantial as as a high spren, as a true spren. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't have as much of a connection with that spren hmm. because no in a hell bond. Um, maybe there is a connection going on between your in a hell spren and the others. And the other spren that probably seems and so, unlikely. And so it's not so much you reaching into the cognitive, it's your spren or maybe you through your spren reaching into the cognitive. Yeah. Uh, but so you don't have as much of a connection, which seems to fit what we see with plate, where you bond with a blade, but plate is kind of more okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Um, you can regrow. Well, uh, plate is not as strong as blade. Yep. Which also makes sense because now it is made from lesser spren and from many of them. It's not a single entity, and so it's easier to break. Right. Yeah. True. I was gonna say the totally blast, true. But that's totally true. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, and on on top of all of that, you have um, because lesser spren are definitely more simple or simplistic or primitive than than the true spren. Then maybe you can use stormlight to. You are not replacing the like, the physical form of lesser spren. I think is easier for stormlight to. Fix. Mimic, because there's there there isn't as much mind or soul in there, uh, and so you just yeah. leave a bunch of investiture in there, and the investiture kind of adapts to to what is already in there, and it's close enough, uh, which does make me wonder whether a plate that has been damaged and then repaired is in any way different from a brand new plate i feel like it can't be right because uh, like there's there's no indication that there's like any well decay, not not right? not functionally not functionally but sure. just like appearance at all um i when you say a brand new do you mean one that's a, a radiance plate or do you want that's like like a fresh from the recreant's plate a, a like... radiant who has just just acquired their plate for the first time See, um, there's a, there's there's a wob that I was going to bring up when you brought up the connection thing about how it's got a lesser connection. Um, yeah. It's a wob that it's one of mine. <laughs> I, you know, um, I was actually <laughs> thinking of bringing this up myself. So great, yeah. go for it. Um, um, so basically, uh, the question I had was related specifically to the partial ND lightning yes. uh, ability. Um, but then Brandon basically says um, that because the plate's not as alive as you know the blades it wasn't as affected by the recreants yeah right. um and so because whilst there was a connection there it wasn't that strong and the plate isn't that alive um so i think there would be a difference because they were affected they just weren't affected to anywhere close to like you know the I'm, extent the blades were i'm really digging this idea of your spren is like then has these connections with these lesser spren right hmm. and maybe it's like you mini need... mini in the hell bonds yeah ma yeah sure spren. and you need to be at the fourth ideal because it that stronger connection with you and your spren because it's not you pulling your spren it's you having your spren pull something else and so you need an extra strong bond to do that pulling right? yeah because you're pulling the there's one more link in the chain, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, and then it would make sense that the plate is affected by the recreants, but not as much, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you're 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 severing the bond with your spren, but your spren your spren's not severing its bond with the the spren well, around and it. Well, pres presumably, like the 
the uh, lesser spren, if this is how it goes, we're, we're, yeah. we, this is an assumption, presumably those lesser spren all have a mutual connection with those other spren, right? So yeah. it, take out, if the, if the main spren dies, then it's not like the, uh, it's not like the plate, the plate might have an affinity to that original blade, but it, it like doesn't really matter. It still functions as plate, right? Yeah. Cool. So those lesser spren are still connected in that way that plate is. So yeah. how does this fit with everything we know about plate? Well, I really like the idea that that's why it can split apart. Um, but yeah, with the made regrowth, of uh it makes sense that there would be that spiritual connection and so like their physical location if you break off a vambrace or something then like i, I don't feel that that matters you're kind of just like regenerating that that it's, that it's kind of like if you if you if somebody cuts your arm off and then you go next country over and a radiant heals you yeah that's fine right yeah right 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 and then the radiant scolds you for cutting your arm, you cutting your own yeah. arm off, just being a dummy. Yeah. Um. So I think that makes sense. I think it makes perfect sense to require a higher level of ideal, because uh, it should be easier to pull your spren that you have that intimate relationship with, uh, that you swore <laughs> these oaths with. One one thing I want to add on, just, um, I was gonna say, I'm not I'm not super digging the. You're connected to your spread, and your spread's connected to, and the fourth idea allows okay, it to connect sure, to a thing. Sure. The lesser spread. Um, but what I do like is that those, the, the what's it that the, the Stormfather calls them? The high spread and the sub spread? High the, spread and sub spread. True spread. True spread, yeah. The true spread. Yeah, yeah high um, spread and true spread. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, the, the true spread are essentially, uh, God, we're going really far back into headcanon. Um, when the shards first arrived in Roshard, they picked a couple of spread oh, and they were like, here's a bit of investiture. The uplifting. the uplifting. And so they uplifted, you know, gravitation spread and, and, and the, or they uplifted wind spread into gravitation spread and pressure spread and adhesion spread. Um, and, you know, they kind of, they, 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 they uplifted life spread into cultivation spread and that sure. kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. And um, so those, essentially, those connections are already there. Yeah. Because they, true. they yeah. are already, mm -hmm. they're essentially just, versions of the spren just with way more invested when the shards first arrived i like that um and so when you connect really deeply with your own spren you just kind of you're getting their connection to the rest of the spren which you can then pull in to coat yourself in kind of not as good metal but still pretty good metal i'm digging that for yeah. the relationship on how those connections yeah. are there right but that yeah, is stretching yeah, into yeah. way that's stretching into like History of Roshar. I mean, that's, 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 that's true, that is. but I, I, I think I kind of like that because there, there's yeah, obviously yeah. a relationship between Honor Spren and Wind Spren. Yeah. And the fact that they're called the, Cousin Spren and the, yeah. or it, they refer, yeah. or like Spren refers to them. Uh, Spren? Seal. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My Spren right. is named Spren. Spren. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, what if the Spren Spren? Right, spread no, no, for the concept of spread. Don't, don't. <laughs> oh, I'm out. Um, <laughs> you could call it spreadception. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't expect with this episode that we would have like inception references, but I'm in. It's a spread sure, within us. Yeah. It's you're you're connected to your spread. That spread is connected to other spread, man. Fifth yeah, ideal, no, they're it's... connected even more spread. You're connected to Roshar, man. Whoa, Dude. whoa. You am the law, yeah. <laughs> totally tubular. <laughs> mm. uh, no, but it's first of all, I like that head cannon a lot. Me too. Um, second, it it like if if this is how it works, then it makes sense for plate to be weaker because it's not it, like the the primitive like the the lesser sprint are not as juiced up as your uh, as your health sprint. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, that makes because sense. It, they they never had honor and cultivation bump them with investiture. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, it does. Does anything not work with this? Uh, well, I, I was thinking about dismissing. So, the effect on plate from the recreants. Yeah. Could have been that. Well, you can you can no longer summon or dismiss. So, let let's think about why you can summon and dismiss blades. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, let's so let's do that. The Spren, yeah. the Spren dies. Yeah. Dies. Yes. Gets stuck in a so the the radiance summoned their blades and then broke uh uh, uh their oath. Oaths. Yeah. They somehow pulled them into the physical realm and however then that happened. Broke off the thing. Yeah. Keeping them alive. So presumably if they hadn't summoned their blades, I I don't think the spren would have appeared. No, the well, blade wouldn't have dropped out of the air. No, I no, I, I disagree yeah. because we have a word of Brandon that says that if Calden broke his oaths now, then it still would appear as a blade. And I, I don't think that needs to be, I must summon Syl and then break my oaths. Like, I don't think that matters. Okay, maybe. The maybe friend right. would be damaged anyway, and in, uh, I, th I think it would. Okay, then I don't understand why it would get pulled into physical. Automatically. If you if you find that this is yeah sure okay, okay so I have it um this is paraphrased from words of radiance time uh and it says if after speaking the third ideal Calden were to betray his oaths would still turn into a shard blade Brandon said yes yeah. so I mean that is that okay. is paraphrased so I mean the actual wording could matter but yeah I I I don't know I. I don't think there's any mystery. Like you, the spread would still be a dead eye in the cognitive anyway, right? Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not doubting it. I'm just yeah. Um, but anyway, but anyway, yeah, we've got really sidetracked <laughs> onto a minor no point. Way, that's never happened before. <laughs> we are we are two levels down in in the sidetrack in the um, in the ideaception. <laughs> so so again, I don't understand why the spread would get pulled in the physical um, up, upon breaking the oaths, but apparently it does. Well, maybe it does. I think so that's just a factor of uh, the fact that the Spren has been so close to the physical. Because they, they made the maybe. transition from the cognitive to the physical. They're bonded with that person, so they're, they're a lot more in the physical now than if they just never bonded. And they never okay. did yeah. that, right? Okay, sure. Yeah. I can I can kind of go with that. But that's for, for Blades, okay? Yes, right. Fast forward a couple of hundred years, and then somebody decides to shove a gem in a blade. And that allows yep. that person, or any person really, to bond with the blade Yes. in a way similar to how the Radiants were bonded to their spren, to their blades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're A real rudimentary to... bond. Be, be able yeah. to summon or dismiss, but not until they they kind of invest a little bit of themselves. Like, yeah. then heartbeats are still a thing. Like, you've got to resuscitate the spren a little bit. That's right. Yeah. So it comes hey. back. You can you can you send also, it away immediately. Yeah. But you got to give it some time to come back. And you've also got to you got to carry the shard blade around with you for several weeks as well. At the beginning, yeah. At the beginning, yeah. So you've that's got to the, form that's a bond. the bonding process. Yeah. Why does the gem allow you to do that? That's a that, I'm trying. I'll try to avoid that question because that's really weird. That that someone got a got a big immortal destructible shard blade, got a gem, went like this, and the gem just went, whoop, and then just let the gem go in, and then, whoop, and then, and now you can that's, dismiss thanks, it. Thanks for the that's suggestions. really you're weird. Really, you're really adding to the video <laughs> podcast, really. Yes, I think. Thanks. <laughs> That's whole, that whole process of how that was found is really weird. It just seems to remind me of, like, the Jezrean knife. I don't know, and knife. The, other, the other thing is that breaking the bond mm -hmm. doesn't... I mean, I guess that's not surprising, but it doesn't require you to, to break the gem. Yeah. Uh, yes. Right. You just, we had, we had yeah. that one scene where, like, somebody was giving a blade to Adelian, and then they just... Or just like Dalinar giving his oath no, to Hammer to Sadius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, right, Sadius, not Hammer. Yeah. So the gem, I think it is either there to provide investiture. Yeah. Um, I assume that the gem needs to be invested. Assuming. <laughs> used, right? yeah, like, assuming. Um, I think that's. That's a requirement only for like the beginning. Well, no, probably every time you you rebond. I I would say yeah. you you need to 
yeah. invest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you need to infuse that gem every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but then once you've bonded with the blade, then you don't need to like go out in a high storm every time and and summon yeah. your blade so it gets infused. So maybe, sorry, go, continue. So either to provide investiture yep. to to kind of juice up the spren a little bit, um, or it is there to provide. I don't think it's identity. I don't think that fits in in any way. Yeah. Uh, like obviously, like. Obviously, there's some identity somewhere in in all of this because there is this person and there's this object, this this dead blade, and it matters that it's this person specifically. Yeah, it it becomes um, that bond keys the blade to that person. Yeah. So right. I think there is some identity going on there, but that's probably more like a secondary effect or a byproduct or something like that. I don't think the gem provides that in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. And then connection is kind of the the other thing that that's possible, probably. Right. But similar to identity, I don't see how a gem would would pro like. I think the act of carrying the blade around for a week. Is is what provides the the connection because you're being very close to the blade for a while, and the the spren, the dead spren are still like seeking out things. They right? they, they got like, they got the feelers, right? So I, I feel like it has to just be like it's just a nice conduit for a bit of investiture to help yeah forge that bond uh more uh. The gem facilitates the, the, the bonding process. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so all of this is blade, okay? Yeah, right. And yeah. if we are, if we continue to treat plate as kind of a, a process similar to blade, but one degree separated. Yeah. Then, and I, I don't necessarily have a point to make. I'm just speaking words. Yeah. You're very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have been doing it for a long time. Yeah. So the plate is still connected. So it is no longer bonded to the original radiance because they mm. recreants. Yeah. It but, may yeah. or may not be still bonded to the original Nahel spren. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe not that specific spren, but it's still there's still a relation between the the dead wind spren in a dead wind runner's plate oh, no, I th and I think all there... of the dead uh on a spren there, might, there could be the some blade. relationship with the i'm very curious to see what would happen if you got the original maya plate yeah the the exact one uh, okay like there there could be something there that there yeah. could be uh may maybe not but there could be I, I think I, that would be a really yeah. interesting question to ask. Yeah. And I think this is a really good point to segue into the whole concept, the whole identity thing that's going on with plate. Because the the plate must A have an identity of its own and B at some point have identity that's keyed to the radiant that it belonged to in the past. Because the the current dead plate blocks surges. Yes. Um, in, including the wearer surges, because in underneath Era Theory, Renarin has to remove his gauntlet in order to use with growth on people. Um, but if oh. it's your plate from the past, then you can wear it and lash yourself around like during the Starfall vision. And so we, we know, know that yeah. it is identity that, that does that, that determines whether there's going to be uh, a magical interference. Yeah. Right. So. The, there must be some level of the your plate is keyed to your identity in some way. Um, when you're a radiant. When you're a radiant, and even when it's your plate that you've been wearing, you know, for like, some I don't know how, yeah, for yeah. Quite, a, quite, quite a while. And I imagine Renarin's had his plate for a while. Yeah, there doesn't oh, actually, seem to be like a bonding well, process. Well, he got like it in Words of Radiance. Yeah, oh, I just remember doing Words of Radiance, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true, that's true. So maybe, okay. Yeah. Or maybe the Way of Kings. Probably the Way of Kings. No, I think it was Words of Radiance because it was when Kaladin was, was doing his training that Renarin was jumping off the thing. And landing in on in the last year. Yeah. Is... Yeah, we don't really see uh, a person who has 
plate who has bonded a spren. Yeah, the only one we've seen is Renarin who has to remove his format to make new sayers. Um, is there Stormfather hated the blade, yeah. but like he's got no problems with the plate. Yeah, oh, that's a really good point. Brent, yeah. Brent have no problem with the plate. Like Kaladin and, and Seal have a conversation at some point. Yeah, right, right. Um, right. And I, I don't remember exactly what she said, but but it was to the effect of it's not like it's 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 not the same as you know no. us. I'm really, really liking now. this lesser spren thing. Like the more we talk about it, like I it just. An yeah, alternative people... does not seem as fully fleshed out. Yeah. But, like, if you have a fully fleshed out theory, let us know in the comments. Absolutely. Um, like, I've, I know people don't like the lesser spread theory, and I'm well up for hearing other theories. But and a I lot understand of benefits that. when, as we're talking yeah. through this. Yeah, and the lesser spread has its, has its flaws, but, you know... There's just, like, implementation that's, like, weird. But, like, yeah. in, in some respects, if someone said... Ah, when you're the third ideal, you just pull your spread into the physical, and then they just turn into a blade because reasons, because blades yeah. are cool. Then it's like, yeah, this isn't that different from that. Yeah. Like, what's yeah. real, right? <laughs> like, I, yeah, I, well, think, I think that's that's what I like the most about it. It's the symmetry. Yeah. Or parallels. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about one thing that's easy to forget. That Dalinar's plate glowed a bit in Way of Kings. And then we can talk about Maybe. why Plate glows? Maybe? Yeah. Maybe glowed. Maybe glowed? Yes. So this is during the I think we're gonna need a uh, Chasm Fiend point. Hunt. Chasm Fiend Hunt. Okay. So this is during the Chasm Fiend Hunt. Yep. And we are in Adolin's point of view, Ooh. which is important. Yep. And Dalinar is about to perform uh, to 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 uh, block the yep. Chasm Fiend from uh, from smashing Elokar, and he does. Mm -hmm. And Adolin's breath caught in his chest. Dalinar held back the claw and matched its strength, a figure in dark silvery silvery metal that almost seemed to glow. Uh, I of Dalinar's gauntlets and shoulders began to crack, webs of light moving down the ancient metal, and then Adolin uh, shakes himself into motion and goes to help. Yeah. I don't think we should read too much into that. That's what, chapter 10 of Way of Kings? I th 13, yeah. Yeah, then well... I think that's that's just a... It just looks really cool, and it's such a cool piece of armor that it almost looks like it glows. That's true, but there's this word of Brandon yeah. where that was bringing up this glowing, and Brandon's uh, when Brandon says down a shard plate. In which scene? And Brandon then just uh, says, "Oh yeah, I I know nothing about what you're talking about." Honestly, I, I saw that wob, and I think Brandon is honest. <laughs> That, that I mean, that could be possible. Yeah, so that that is less conclusive than this this question is saying. Uh, it it yeah. could be a clue, but I, I I suppose the idea potentially could be uh he's protecting, so it glows or something. Yeah, or it's be. just a thematic. It could be real yeah. cool. It could the, be literally the whole like thing's cool. under stress, so the whole thing is leaking yeah, like stormlight. Storm storm yeah. yeah. That is true. Yes. Yeah. Totally true. Yeah. Um, if you find some other times where this happens that we forgot, then please let us know. But real radiant plate does glow. Uh, mm -hmm. And part of that, I assume, is because it's awesome. Uh, yep. And radiance must radiate. And it's cool. Yeah. Do like, I see it as this kind of the stormlight almost flowing through the plate like veins. Like, that's what the glyphs. Um. Do. Well, so remember that stormlight glows. The illumination of stormlight is not a function of the stormlight itself. It's because the stormlight is a conduit into the spiritual realm. Yes, and that's what causes the illumination. And, and so you're seeing the spiritual realm essentially. So radiant plate doesn't need to be a function of how much stormlight you have. In other words. It could be a yes. similar mechanic of oh, it could just be that the... The, to the spiritual realm, right? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, spiritual... seems funky. I mean, it does. 
Of course it does. Spiritual yeah. mumbo jumbo. Um, <laughs> it, it, the radiant plate glows because it looks awesome. And they're the yeah. knights <laughs> radiant. It's in the name. Do blades glow? I think they do, right? They do. Yeah, uh, softly. Yes. Like softly. Friend, yeah, softly. Yeah. Friendly. Yeah. yeah. They're not like bright, but they're like. Yeah. You could probably see them in the dark. Yeah. Okay. It's bright. Yeah, that's. I I would say that's that's the the same. The same thing then. Yeah, I don't. Uh, think it's yeah, it could be. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's... especially especially if we go with the idea that plate is is lesser spread. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, you 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 pull a spread into the physical realm. There's gonna be. Cool special. I'm also, I like how it was also. It specifically said that it's like it's not like just random swirls and filigree. It's specifically glyphs. But I'm like, what did the glyphs say? Yeah, like, did, they, like, did the glyphs arm, disappear? Arm, 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 chest, did the chest, glyphs chest, disappear like, when the... the recreants occurred? Oh, I would assume I... so. Um, I wonder if uh, if we see that in the vision. Let's like, find as the out. Place drops. So there's one radiant that has a brilliant cape. So this I don't I don't, I don't think, think that is a special cape. Wait, there's a radiant with a cape? One knight cape stepped added. ahead of his companions, his cape a a rich blue. Fair enough. Because the capes were added. The capes are just random capes. Yeah. But apparently the old radiants were like, now. Well, we but they but they are fixed to the pauldrons. So that like you need a place to oh, affix there is a it too. So is there a place? Mm. There is a place for the paint. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. So so I I wonder if like plate, of oh, it's not gonna come with the with a with a cape. I refuse to accept <laughs> no. that yeah. the radians just sh summon their their plate and cape. <laughs> yeah, but what if what if How Evgeny? How fabulous would that be? You what you need to do is you just need a gemstone and have the cape bonded to the plate. Did you think about that? <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, could you imagine a shard cape? I hate this. And you just and you could just you could just summon a cape wherever you are. You could be doing anything. Look, silk can be just... many shapes. If you if Calden wants a sweet cape, a silk I cape. mean, yes, yes, it's yes, but no. The only um... reference of glyphs in this is that their plates were unpainted, but it glowed either blue or amber at the joints and across glyphs at the front. So the, As with the other blades. Readings. Oh, so it's just like big. The blades actually go out. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, which to me is absolutely indicative that the plate also glowed at the time, but it went out. Faded. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. So there was no reference to really the glyphs disappearing in there. Uh, yeah. I mean the the plate. Definitely, you know, goes dim, but Dalnar doesn't specifically comment on that, but it's pretty obvious yeah. that that's what happens. And considering huh. that the blades do lose their light yeah. at the same time, then the, then the, the plates got plate, plate would as well. What other shard platey things do we have to talk about? Space suits. Space. Is that, is Space. that it? Is that it? Yeah, that's, that's, that's my transition to I want to talk about going to the moon. Um, in there the was the suit. weight issue. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Tell me tell me about the weight issue. So oh, how I, shard plate weighs more. Than yeah. Weights. I don't I don't know if that's a, a like a real issue, right? Because so what we know about blades is that they are lighter than they should be given given their size. They're not weightless. They definitely have <laughs> substance. It's just that they're lighter than a six foot steel sword. Uh, but... uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, or even, or even a long sword. I think. Yeah, right. But plate is just way too heavy. It's just uh, heavy. And, yeah. And you need, like, you need the added extra strength on your your feet and legs to allow you to put the rest of it on. Um, which, on one hand, yeah, there's a lot more material to plate than there is to blade. But on the other, if blade is this much lighter than a full suit of armor should not be heavier than a normal suit of armor. I have a few thoughts. Go. First, well, yeah, a blade is one spread. Uh, a plate is a <laughs> lot of spread, and so it's just way it Maybe. makes sense. Well, it, it makes, makes sense. It weighs like... more. 
It weighs it weighs this many spread. Yeah. Yeah. All spread weigh the same amount. Yeah, that's not. True. Yeah, sure. No, sure. The, the, a blade is one mole of spread, and then the plate is like <laughs> many, many moles. moles. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Investiture moles. Um, yes. <laughs> that this is chemistry. If chemistry, is correct, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah. Secondly, I'm almost wondering if the weight of plate would be different if the plate was alive. Would you heavier or lighter? Lighter. Okay. If that is not the case for blades. Yeah. Yeah. I I was just glowy. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it would just be more effortless when you just summon it and it just appears, like manifests on you. I don't know. But probably not because they weren't as affected from the recreants. So that was just a random yeah. stupid idea. Uh, so I, I, uh, I don't know why it would be. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like that any, anymore. So good talk. All, all I can think was, um, I actually do think there are some credence to that. The blade is one spread and the plate is many spread. Because if we're, yeah. if you, if you, you pull in one spread into the physical when you summon your blade, one spread, it's one unit, it's one thing, one soul. It's there and it's big and it's metal and it's, it's not going to break because you can't break us the, the mind the soul that is a spread. Yeah, right. The singular entity of a spread. Um, but if the plate is is many spread packed together with the idea of we're going to be a suit of armor, then <laughs> they, they they need to be yeah, strong. Uh -huh. Yeah, they need to be they need to be physically strong as if they were like atoms in a metal. And so, what's the investiture to mass conversion rate? Let's talk about that. Oh, oh, God. How about we not? How about we don't? <laughs> it, it, kind of, it kind of touches on that, doesn't it? Right? You have, well, yeah, you because, have but, it but the blade is... is more invested than any of those individual spread, right? But it, but like, like it almost the physical properties of the blade almost don't matter. Well, they don't because it moves and it changes shapes and it changes size. Yeah, yeah, like, that's true. It's, yeah, it's yeah. one thing, and like it doesn't matter what physical shape it's in. It would still just be one thing, whilst the plate is is many things, and it, it, this makes sense in my mind. I'm just really struggling to say the words. I the right think order. it also <laughs> makes sense, and that I really don't want to talk about investiture to mass conversion rates. I yeah. Really don't. <laughs> I mean, I, some people probably do want us to get into that, but I really don't. No, no, this is, and, and this gets really annoying when you consider that uh, something like Seal, for example, can assume different shapes of different sizes and presumably different mass. Like, if she, if, like, she manifests as a knife in Oathbringer, hmm. that knife is presumably not as heavy as the Seal Spear. <laughs> yeah, that... That's, I mean, that can make sense. Through your physics... <laughs> look, look, I, I said it before, I said it again. All problems can be solved with the spiritual realm and spiritual mumbo jumbo. <laughs> Anything you want to happen. When people are like, I have a physics error in Brandon books, I'm like, you know what? There is a the way spiritual. to make the spiritual realm do whatever Brandon <laughs> wants it to do to make Does the that story know? work. That is, that is Don't even have to go as far as the spiritual realm, the cognitive realm. Plates heavy because people think it should be heavy. Ooh. <laughs> Why not? The spread not? feel that armor should be heavy. Yeah, I I can't dispute that. I like I hate it. I can't. It it's possible, right? <laughs> it's possible. This is all one hundred percent possible. Uh, uh, before yeah, we yeah. go off on the weeds too much more, uh, Ben, you had a, a thing you wanted to say as well because there was a word of Brandon that plate yes. resists bullets well. Yes, uh, he does it, it, it. Yeah, it's any okay. So the someone's asking how would it do off against guns, and someone's like, "Oh, it would resist bullets well." And I'm like, "Some dudes with hammers go bang, 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 bang a, a couple of times will break plate. Bullets do a lot more damage than a couple of guys hitting some hammers. The momentum goes into the spiritual realm, and that's why it doesn't <laughs> matter. Easy, I'm just like, nailed it. Uh, I'm like, I'm like the amount of force imparted by a bullet is way higher than like any." army of men with hammers could do okay maybe not well, that much but like how can the spiritual are... realm be used to solve your problems call today <laughs> what well, you know how it spiritual it adapts to block the lightning so it adapts to block bullets yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it's no, a surface it could... area thing yeah, yeah. It, it could be it could no really it could be a surface area thing right okay. um and and it's it's more than a couple of hits from a couple of guys with hammer. Like at the end of uh, the Way of Kings, um, the uh, Parshendi, Galinar, 
Dalinar was was down and like there like he was surrounded by Pershendi smashing his plate. And yeah. also like there's a matter of the light in your gems healing the plate, yeah. right? So like so it might be easier to repair like a small near bullet hole. It could use it a lot to... of stormlight to do it. Yeah, it could be like ceramic, like if I get a machine gun and just yeah. machine gun uh, a sh yeah. shard plate, eventually it would break. But like a bullet or two, I don't know. I think there's a matter of stormlight, and also yeah. there's there's a matter of spiritual mumbo jumbo. Yeah, and that <laughs> yeah. awesome power armor should be like Tony Stark, and it should deflect bullets, and it shouldn't matter. It's, how yeah. <laughs> it's just how it works. Yeah, it's just how it works. It's just how it works. Physical forces, we don't need that. We don't need that. Exactly. We, you know, it, this isn't even like taking this into account the fact that like three or four hits from a shard blade or... Shard blades it. are weird yeah. and magical that are magically designed yeah. to sever souls. There's weird yeah. crap going on there, okay? Like that's not just the force of the blow. That is that is magical business end yeah. of a shard blade is magic. Like I, I have <laughs> not gotten... A satisfactory answer for why blades need to do that other than it was designed to do that to fight void bringers that's that's it that's <laughs> that's the only reason because it's like all right can change shape i can see that i can see that a blade model after armor blades sure blades cutting into your soul and making your eyes burn out there's a little different it's a little different, a little there's different. A yeah there's a step there like... right <laughs> it's designed to murder things namely yeah. Ancient Voidbringers and Thunderclass. That's what it's there yes. to do. That's the design. Yeah, I mean, that, that's reasonable. Any yeah. final thoughts on plate? It will make really good spacesuits in the future. Yeah. Because because I think I think that living shard plate, plate will will be able to move, like change shape, and so it will close oh. off the visor to be air to be well, air. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And then, and then Kaladin can fly to the moon because that's definitely something that's going to happen at some point. Which one? <laughs> Will he mate with the moon? Oh my god. Kaladin's oh my god. girlfriend is the moon! Oh my god! <laughs> you never saw it coming! <laughs> oh man, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> literally. Uh, literally. Yeah, literally. literally. It's very rough. <laughs> which, which one of the moons was female? Was it the Natan one? Just... So I that's the blue one no, at the end? No, it's not the middle one. one. No. I think it was the middle one. Because Mishim, Mishim, Mishim is... Is the grumpy old guy at the front. No, 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 no. Mishim is the youngest. I'm going to get it all wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, Nomon is the oldest. And he's the grumpy one at the beginning. Salas is the middle yeah. one. Or Silas or Salis. Silas? No. Silas. No. <laughs> no. no. It's, 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 it's symmetric. <laughs> I don't, it's I just don't remember. It's S-A-L-A-S. It's not Salas. No, I do not <laughs> accept that, Ben. That is stupid. <laughs> stupid. Yeah, but one of those. And, and, ends up with her. Any other thoughts, guys? I, I think we had a pretty good conversation on an explanation on how plate could work. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty yeah. sold. Uh, if you are not sold, uh, that's fine. Uh, it could be a lot of different things. Yeah. If you have thoughts on the lesser spread theory, specifically why it's not lesser spread, please, please let comment. us know because it's pretty much the best theory we have right now, and there's not really any really good alternatives. Yeah. In in incoming two people being very upset, it's like my theory, is this theory, <laughs> <laughs> which is possible. You don't need to have that. The the silly tone that I had, which is probably not what you're going to sound like, but you know. Did we actually have a wob on whether Bondsmiths ever had shards? Uh, it's just the Stormfather said that you will be a radiant with no shards, and he said shards. Well, I, I feel like I feel like somebody asked uh, about Bondsmiths in general. Uh, I think you're right. This is the problem with Ian not being on the show. He would know. There is a word of Brandon that God. does say Bondsmiths didn't have blades, Evgeny. Blades. The Brandon okay. said blades. Okay. Yeah, that makes. I feel some like some sense. I feel like I think that makes some sense. Uh, armor is really useful to have, especially when your enemies. Oh, that that's that's one other thing. 
Why does Plate resist Investiture? Because the enemies are using Investiture, so it's probably good to have a suit of armor to block against random crap that they're going to do. That well, makes it, sense to me. It does. It's also <laughs> probably just a function that it's invested. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Piece of armor. So but yeah. also, if if one was to say, hmm, how could we block magic? Highly invested suits of armor. That's pretty, that's pretty yeah. good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Sure. We have so much investiture on this planet. Might as well do something. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. Look, you have these invested high storms. It's like, and armor? Easy. All right, guys. Well... This game show is not going to work nearly as well with just uh, just two of us. But it's time for... Who's That Cosmere Character? This character is from Roshar. Menace. Yeah, Tom. Braze. Void in drag on a horse. <laughs> it's time for Who's That Cosmere Character? Caw. Right, so, welcome to Who's That Cosmere Character, the game show where you guys send in five clues and a character to who's that cosmere at character at gmail.com, and then I read out these. <laughs> and then, oh, I'm a bit rusty, I haven't been on for like two months. I know, the, the, last, email at the last time you were here, Ben, you yeah. were going to Gondor. Yeah, and... <laughs> stay the Sanderson, which was over two months ago. Like, Well, and it'll <laughs> be a while oh, for this comes out. to come out. Yeah, it'll be like three months ago at this point. Um, <laughs> right. So, send your clues in. I'll read the clues to these guys. These guys have to try and guess the character who is. Before we get to the fifth clue, when it gets to the fifth clue, they all lose because they suck. Um, to be fair, Evgeny and I are pretty weak at this game. I was going to say, Ian's not here, which is fascinating. So, this will be this Is will it be fascinating or is he just at work? <laughs> I don't know if it's fascinating, <laughs> per se. It's, it's fascinating that he's not here. Stop being so aggressively British. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, that's that's, a, that's bloody up. fascinating. That's blo bloody hell. There's my tea. Uh, <laughs> nah. Meanwhile, people are in Britain are like, whoa, those swears, those are intense. And people <laughs> in America are like, I don't care at all. <laughs> what, a, what a load of cod swallop. Oh. Queen will hear about this. Whoa, uh, um, do I have to bleep that? <laughs> Is that, is that a believable thing that I need to do? I don't know. I, I really don't know. I, I don't know what this it man just, is saying. It just all sounds adorably British. <laughs> but but okay. Evgeny and I, yeah. we're, we are not good at remembering character names. So, That's so, fine. No. To be fair, Ben, you will be more generous than Grace will. I, I am. I'm nicer because I have fun with this. It's fun to watch you guys squirm. That's, that's so. not difficult. <laughs> no, right, it's not. So. This one, character number one, was sent in by Lightsong88 on the horns. Oh. Hmm. Uh, clue number one, this character is on Roshar. Harkelane! It is not Harkelane! <laughs> Menace. <laughs> uh, felt. It is not felt. Is on Roshar? Does that mean the present is... era as present as we can get? Right now? They are on the planet of Roshar. Okay. Great. Thank you. Does right now mean at the end of Oathbringer? Or, or during the events of Oathbringer? During the events of Oathbringer, yes. Okay. All right. Oh, so, so they're not so, historical figures? So, 11, 1174. <laughs> number two. This, <laughs> this actually will answer your question. We're learning why Grace doesn't give us. <laughs> 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 like, what else? <laughs> uh, this character was in a bridge crew. Hover. It's not Hover. Mm. Did he die? He did die. Yeah. Hover. No, he got uh, his his legs got off. He had he had bad legs and then he got good legs. I don't know. All bridge four looks alike. Corpses. <laughs> yeah, Corpses. <laughs> um. This character is named, right? Yes, this character is named. Okay. Oh, you, you can't oh. send in unnamed characters. <laughs> just, just making sure, because I thought of that. Like I the... swear, if someone sends one in, then it turns out to be Serene's mother or one of the many Cosmere mothers that we do not have the name for that we need to well, compromise article kill. and we just do Vin's mom. That's a fantastic idea. If you guys can send in a Cosmere character no. for an unnamed character, that's actually a good character clue. That'd be fantastic. Like, I mean, no, they have to be named. So they have to be named. Play and for I what's that Cosmere? Co 
No, <laughs> shut up. I'm in charge. I'll cut this out if you say it's okay. I'm in charge. Unless you're editing the podcast. I I would be okay with this being a first clue. Okay. Uh, half of a first clue. Anyway, uh, uh, Sigzil. It's not Sigzil. Okay. This character is a Windrunner Squire. That's not helpful at all. I mean, it does limit... All of them are. It does limit exterior bridge crews, uh, so oh. it does focus us on bridge floor. Is it real? It is real. Uh, nice. <laughs> nice. You know why I know that? Because he is a member of Bridge 13, and that Bridge became 13 becomes right. squires of yeah. theft. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes they do. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. cool. Uh, clue number three was this character likes alcohol, and clue number five, sorry, clue it's number four specific. was this character likes alcohol. And clue number five was this character is not one of Kaladin's squires. Okay, so, all right. Good all job right. there. Well, wait, good. wait, not one of Kaladin's squires? No, one of Tefts. He, he becomes Tefts. Yeah. Because he's British 13. 13. We literally Somehow. just said this. <laughs> <laughs> In my brain, they're just all connected to Kaladin. <laughs> but right, yeah, okay. okay. Thrills okay. all the way down. Okay. Yeah. I, I would say... Just, just would like to say that uh, this character likes alcohol is a great clue one. See, clue one. Let me give some advice, okay? <laughs> clue one is a great one to give like a really vague, weird clue. That's like not, it, it can't be specific, generic clue. Like this character likes alcohol and then we're just talking about Shalon's people and stuff. <laughs> or like any number or like Wayne or something, see? And then, then yeah. it's very broad. So that, that would be my advice personally. Yeah. Welcome to uh, we criticize your who's that cosmic character. That, that could be an say, episode. You're going to love clue one of this next one. That 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 could be a, an episode where we critique who's that cosmic character things. <laughs> where that that's what it is. That that's what we'll that's do the episode. year before, like in 2020 when we're desperate, or like if Oathbringer's 20 or not Oathbringer. Uh, if Stormlight Four is 2021 and we're like really scraping the bottom of the barrel, where it's just like we do an episode where we critique your who's that cosmic characters. And that's the whole episode, yeah. Yeah. And then another ninety episode minutes where of we, it. We critique your usernames. Yeah. Look, we, it might go bi-weekly in 2021 when we're desperate for more Cosmere. That is yeah, possible. Yeah. Like we might have to switch. To I the, think the we can get to to 2020 fall 2020 just fine. But no, like, we just do a year's worth of Scott Starsight podcast. That's what we just do. Okay. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see. Cool. So this second one was sent in, and I picked this because I wanted to try and pronounce his name. Oh, God. Gertrude Flüdel. Oh. Who, or, or, or Rootheart from the 70th chart. Uh, this Why are they you have so sent European? <laughs> they have sent in clue number one. This character, this character is male. Has something named after them. Ooh, all right, all right. I'm, mm. I'm liking yeah. this. I thought you yeah. were saying that sarcastically, um, that I'll like the next <laughs> one. <laughs> well, as I was going to say, because you said it has to be broad, but then this one isn't, I don't think it was that broad. Ellen. Just, it is not Ellen. That's like X. I'm going to go with Luther. <laughs> it's not, it's not, not Luther, but that's a great guess. Even though Luther is not really a character. How would you get more clues for Luther? We literally know nothing else. I'm going to write one for Luther and I'm going to sneak it in one day. Right. I'm still <laughs> waiting for two. one where it's Menace, guys. Just any time now. You'll send in one about Menace. Anytime. One I got day. All the <laughs> uh, clue number two. This character has influenced a religion. Wait, what? Can you read me for its clue one again? They have something named after them. Kelsier? <laughs> it is not Kelsier. I mean, it felt too obvious. Rushek! But... It is not Rushek. Ah! <laughs> what's what's uh, named after him? Rushekin. It's a city. Go. In the Elendale Basin. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> but who named that city after Rushek? There's a city <laughs> named after Elendi, too. Well, I mean, Elendi makes more sense than. than... Look, some Sliverists yeah. are very happy in Rashekin, no, and wrong. I don't but want was... you to criticize their way of life, okay? <laughs> okay. Even okay. if there's a lot of spikes and murders, okay? It's a way of life. <laughs> you gotta respect that. Right, clue number three. This character has been used as a pawn. As a pawn? Yeah. A 
pawn. This doesn't help. <laughs> has influenced a religion and has something mm -hmm. named after them. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for an attempt to to clarify clue number one. Okay. When you say something named after them, mm -hmm. is that something tangible? Yes. Is it actually their name or like would preservation yes. count with it being tear or something? Like it's I think that would be giving too much away. Not because I would give it away, but just because I feel like that would give too much away. But what if you told mm. us anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Did you think about just telling us anyway? I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna cut out anything. Leros. It is not Leros. Normally no. we get stuck on, on Roshar, but now it's yeah. just... like religions, it's like there's could be a lot of things <laughs> named after things on it's, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah, see? See, like when you have a weird clue one, you're like, what the crap is going on? See? It's really good. <laughs> like I keep I keep trying to think of something like Warbreakery or or Rosharan to say. But I just keep going back to schedule. Is there an and I'm not even thing? Is there an I'm not even considering thing? the other worlds, yeah. Is there an um, thing? I thought briefly about that uh, the the blonde head of uh, the church, but he he's got nothing named after him. I'm gonna go with King Rayoshem. It is not King Rayoshem. Great. <laughs> <laughs> this character has been described as grizzled. Has something named after them. Influenced the religion. It's a pawn. All I can think of is Taleb. But he hasn't influenced the religion at all. It doesn't really be in a pawn. I, well, I mean, kind of. Eh. Kind, yeah. I wouldn't say pawn. More like mole. Do you want to guess Taleb or? No. <laughs> can I look at a map real quick? The <laughs> Eerie. Yeah, they're not, they're not. I love the name of Bob and Uncle. I thought it was sick. Wow, no, you really can't. I'm also, Ben, ben yeah, so. can you do me a favor? Yeah. Go into your Discord settings and make sure that you're actually using your microphone mic. Well, I asked specifically if I wanted to use. Just go into settings. Just just humor me. Humor me, okay? I've got some bad news. Yeah, you haven't been. Yeah, you've been using your laptop mic the whole time. Yeah. How's this? Is that better? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> well done, me. I've been using the wrong mic the whole time. All right. So we learned something important that Ben doesn't know what he's doing. Right. And... I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get the recording of this podcast. I'm gonna transcribe it, and we're just gonna do, redo the whole thing again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that'd be great. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Sure. Cool. Yeah. So wow. if, if you World. guys complain about Ben's audio, he figured out that he was just using his computer's mic rather than the good mic that is in front of his face. Well bah. done. Well done. Yeah. Well so done, me. yes, you're you're. Criticism is duly noted, and he will be smitten <laughs> later. Don't worry. Wow, isn't it no. better when you actually are using the actual mic? Isn't it incredible? I can say Bob Arthur correctly and everything. It's no, amazing. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> give, me, give me the clues again. Cool. So, reiterate the clues. This character has something named after them. This character has influenced a religion. This character has been used as a pawn. And this character has been described as grizzled. I have no idea. I, I want, like that, I want the fifth clue. You want fifth clue? What about you? I okay, you wanna? Clue. How you feeling? I mean, up until clue three, I was I was thinking about like ignoring ignoring the uh, the first clue and just going with blush weaver, but she's not exactly grizzled. Who's a pawn? Yeah. Oh, oh think of grizzled characters. Just, just. Yeah, I'm. I am trying. Yeah. Who has three brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Who was two brothers other than Paladin? Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I want clue five. Yeah. I, don't I know will who's guess Grizzles. for no good reason. Oh god, what was his name? Was it um, Heb? Uh, oh yeah, uh, it's not Heb. Okay. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think it was. Cool. Clue number five. This character has a French-sounding name. Okay, so it is Scadrial. Yeah. Yeah. Who's grizzled on Skadriel? Wait, was a pawn. Come on. You're like this close. I know you are. You're like, you're like this close. I want to say Marsh, but that's not my guess. Okay. 
influenced. He has something named after him. I can give you a half clue and tell you which which clue I had to fact check because I didn't which know. Which clue did you have to head. fact check? I had to fact check what was named after this character. Oh, they okay. definitely have something named after them. Okay. Does Marsh have something named after him, Evgeny? Probably. I mean, probably, <laughs> yeah. The Marshlands. Uh, I, actually, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think there is. Like, I can't. Can I look at a picture of the Elmdale Basin then? Go for it. I'm going to okay. do it as well. Okay, so at the risk of jeopardizing my, my guess, uh -huh. I'm not okay. guessing, I'm just thinking out loud. I'm pretty sure Ham has something named after him. Yeah. Um, I don't, and like, he might be grizzled. Um, nah, I wouldn't describe Ham as grizzled. I wouldn't describe him that way either. Oh! Wait! Wait, 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 wait. He was a pawn? No, that doesn't work. Who are you thinking? I'm thinking clubs. He wasn't oh, really Master a Clouded? pawn, though. No, he wasn't really a pawn. I thought, about, I thought about <laughs> Doxon at some point, but I don't think he is... He's not grizzled, no. I thought about Waxillium at one yeah. point. He's got an estate that, that's named after him. Or, well, not not Waxillium, though, right? It's it's the... Ladrian estate. It's the Ladrian estate, right? Yeah. yeah. For the lads. Uh, and he's got mines, but they're also like Ladrian mines now. <laughs> that was a terrible pun, Ben. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is it Aradil? It's not Aradel. Yes, it's, it's all on you now, Eric. I'm going with Marsh. It's not Marsh. Who is it? Well done, the person who sent this in. Uh, uh, Rude Heart. You, you, you beat them. It's only two guys, of us. When, I, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm chilling out in, in New Ellendale, or whatever it's called. The... New Ellendale? Yeah, New Ellendale. Well, and, and, where, uh... When Ellendale is destroyed and they need to rebuild it again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and then it's built on top of the old Neo Ellendale. Neo Ellendale yeah. City. <laughs> in the far and I, and future, I, there's Neo I'm Ellendale like, City. Nice walk in the sun setting somewhere, and I'm looking down the Demu promenade. It's Demu. Hey! Is he grizzled? He's, Is he's like grizzled? In, I mean... in Way of Kings, when he's the grumpy man. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's oh. nasty. That yeah. is nasty. No, no, no. 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 Do not <laughs> like. I don't no, like, I like that it. either. I thought it was good. I liked it. I don't it. like it. Characters it was, aren't it's, allowed to change over the eras. It's jumping yes. around eras. It's like there's like a clue from era one there. There's no, a clue no, from no, Roshar. No. There's a clue from era two there. That's great. I like that a lot. No, no, no. I disagree. I don't like that. <laughs> I disagree. No. I no. veto. I veto this. <laughs> Uh, I think they did a good job. I enjoyed. Well done. Um, and, yeah, and I, in my head, the, the the funny thing is, in my head, I was thinking, uh, I I was going over the named locations in Ellendale Basin that I or Ellendale that yeah. I knew of, and I was thinking Promenade, but I couldn't remember which Promenade <laughs> it was. I literally wanted yeah. to pick Demo, but I was like, he's not Grizzle. I like wanted oh. to guess Demo for a while, and I'm like, he's a pawn. Like I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Eh. Yeah, because he was used in the fight, he was used as a pawn. Yeah. Um, I was going to say that the Dynamo Promenade is mentioned twice in Chapter 1 of Alloy of Law and oh. never again. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> Do you have a wiki article for this? I don't think so. And I think there was also another promenade in, in Ellen, like a uh, named after a different character. Let's search promenade. Yes, there's also the Tindwell Promenade. Tindwell, yeah. yeah. Who actually, could they have fit all of those clues? I wouldn't say... Probably not Grizzled. I don't know. Twindale was pretty bad, really bitch. You know. Wrong. Yeah. All right, guys. I like it. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> overall, <laughs> overall, like the the spirit of the clues was good. I I just yeah. disagree with. <laughs> I didn't like Grizzled. I don't, Splitting I don't like them that. across time and and series. Like I, I feel like, I feel like the the Mo Promenade was named after the Mo in era one and so at that point he was not and like you're using but the but the demu in way of kings had something named after him the demu promenade is right next to set mansion yeah you're right Ooh, mm. that's it's nice of them to name their headquarters like that <laughs> <laughs> the evil layer <laughs> the evil layer <laughs> the mansion yes 
but that's just a oh mimicking. no no set s-e double uh oh. c double t oh, right. <laughs> i'm like what Whoa, are you wait, talking guys, about <laughs> what if we've just worked it out the set was actually Ashweather the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you guys for listening to this episode. This kind of got off the rails at the end. That's fine though. That's what you Where we go, we for. need no rails. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Follow us on 70show.com for all your news, discussion, theories, and fun that you could ever want. Join us on our Discord. It's down below. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube. Leave us a review on iTunes, and we will see you all next time. Bye. Farewell. Sorry about Jeebus's stupid audio. <laughs> what was Cherish that laugh? What, what, what was that laugh? <laughs> Such a weird, what a weirdo. But hey. yes, your your comments about Jeebus's terrible audio quality are freaking noted. Yeah. I deserve this. Every just single one of them. Ask yeah, just, Overlord Jeebus. Yeah, yeah ping him. Just ping Join our Discord every, and ping Jeebus your angry comments. I want to see like a hundred comments of just... Overlord Jeebus has bad audio in this. He sounds like Robot Grace, but less fun. I want to see a hundred of those. <laughs> comment that below, guys. Comment that below. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I'll comment it below on both my <laughs> accounts. Oh, God. Pin, pin the comment. Pin the comment. Yeah. Don't just like the comment. You have to make another one. Call. <laughs>